Hey y'all, uh, welcome again to Staying Strong with Ashley. Um, I'm so glad you're back. I'm so glad that I get to talk to you every month and kind of just bring some things that have been on my heart. Um, this one is actually gonna be on forgiveness. Um, I know there's a lot of times when we talk about how we have to forgive uh, other people who did mean things to us or whatever. Um, like maybe people sent the wrong things at the wrong time or they were just jerks when, when something happened. Like um, I know when, when a baby passes, people don't always know what to say, so they say the wrong thing, or they tend to think it's the right thing, or they block you because they just don't know how to deal with you and don't want to talk to you. And, uh, or in my case, you know, you have to forgive someone who did some really awful things to you. And I think it's a lot easier to forgive other people. Like I've already um, taken and had forgiven those people a long time ago. So, you know, when it came back up, I, I didn't hold any grudge or anything like that, but it's a lot harder sometimes to forgive ourselves. Um, a lot easier to say and to move on and, and set boundaries and to be like, all right, uh, I forgive this person, you know, I won't let them hurt me again, but I forgive what they did and so you move on. But the problem is that you don't forgive who, like forgive yourself. Um, and it could be something small. It could be just that, you know, you did something to someone and you're still holding on to it and you're still focused on it and you're just going over and over and over again, like, why did I do this? What's this? What's this? And sometimes it just won't get resolved that way. Or, um, or there, or, you know, if you lost a child and you're in the same boat as I am, you just feel bad. You have a hard time forgiving yourself because you feel like you should have done something or you would have done something or if something was different or you know, like my body did this, I did this, like I am responsible for this bad thing that happened. And, and I just gotta be honest, like that's not true. Like you were not responsible for that. There's no way you would, if you would have known, you would have took care of it. Like, honestly, that's what I feel. If I would have known up front and it wouldn't take me three times, I would have took the steps to do that, but I didn't know. Right. So I can't keep placing this blame on myself over and over again, because I just honestly didn't know. And, um, I just want us to really take some time to forgive ourselves, to really understand how to forgive ourselves and to do that. Um, because forgiving ourselves really allows us to move forward in, in being healthy and healing. It allows us to release all the negative emotions we have with ourselves, all the negative bantering we consistently give ourselves and release that and, and just feel good about where we are in life. And it's hard. Life is hard and life is messy and it's going to keep getting hard and messy. Um, but that's why we have friends in our lives, right? Like we don't ever just go through this life by ourselves. There's always someone. And if you don't have someone, you definitely have me. So always contact me for that because we need people in our lives to help us through this messiness. And people will be there as long as not only do you say something, but also as long as you help and forgive yourself in this manner. So um, a couple of tips I found online on how to forgive is focus on your emotions, understand what emotions you're feeling and process them. Give yourself time to accept and feel those emotions that come up, whatever they are. Another one is acknowledging the mistake out loud. And it could have already been that you said you're sorry, you know, um, to this person or, or to yourself, like, I'm sorry I did this. I'm sorry that this happened. Like, just acknowledging what you did in the situation and just trying to, to understand that. And then, um, you know, learning that each mistake is, a, it, that this is an experience and you learn from the next one. And, I, you know, I don't ever think that losing a child is a mistake. I think that it's definitely one that is a hard, hard experience you have to go through. And it's a learning experience on how that you can best be the better person. You know, God did, um, did these amazing things in our lives and changed us for a better reason. And I don't know what that reason is for you, but I definitely know that there's a reason for it. And there's a reason and, and a molding that he is bringing to you. And, and you just have to learn that this is a new thing. And if you're constantly beating yourself up because you didn't do something right, or you, you know, you felt your body was like defective, you know, it's, it's now, now the time for you to understand that it's not your fault, right? It's not your fault that this happened. Instead, it's a time for you to 
learn on what you can do next time. Like for me, I'm going to be extra cautious about talking to a OBGYN that uh, specializes in this and, and getting ultrasounds consistently and like all those things now. Um, and just trying to have the best opportunity to do that um, instead of um, placing blame on myself consistently because I know I can do that. Um, another step is give yourself permission to put to to like put this process on hold. If if you need to take some time away to do it, then do that. You know, and other times if you need to just you know put this on hold for now and move on and then come back to it, like you're more than welcome to do that. Like I think just processing all this to help forgive who, whatever mistake or whatever bad thing that you feel like you did, um, you know. And uh, number uh, another one is having a conversation with your inner critic. Like we are the most critical people of ourselves. There's no one more critical of ourselves than us. Um, we are the most critical people. And if you are consistently being self-critical, then notice that and take, and uh, take notice of that and start quieting those negative messages and, and learning what that means and saying that, you know, you, you aren't to blame for this. You are great. You, you know, changing, changing those negative into positives, like you're loved, you're amazing, you know, all, all wonderfulness of who you are and you're here because you're supposed to be and you have a wonderful, wonderful purpose. But our inner credit consistently says those negative things. And so we just need to work on changing them. Um, also like really trying to figure out what it is that you want in life. Like I know personally, like I would love to have a family and to just, you know, have that. And, and eventually, and I, I know that my goal of that will happen. And so right now I need smaller goals, right? Like losing weight, trying to eat healthier. And when I mess up, to be okay and forgive myself and say, okay, I messed up. What do I do next time? Next time I can't do X, Y, Z. Next time I have to do that, like learning those things and not being upset, but taking those small goals to help each other. Um, and just also like when you give advice to someone, I think this is one of the things that I've learned recently is sometimes it's easier for us to give advice to someone else than for us to take our own advice. So when I say people like, you need to have a mental health day and it's okay, like don't, don't um, fill your calendar up all the time. But then I don't do that to myself and I get burnt out. Like, you know, I need to um, have the conversations and kind of like what we said before, if, if this is something you wouldn't say to a friend, don't say it to yourself, you know? Um, and, uh, you know, just consistently just trying to really give yourself compassion and understanding throughout this whole process and knowing that you're gonna fail but then you just pick yourself back up and try again like there's no reason that you can't keep trying like you will always be able to try and try and try again and um, maybe you don't do it on the first time maybe you don't forgive yourself right away but there's always ways to move forward and I just ask and pray that you consistently try to help yourself in this time. Help yourself understand that this is not your fault, uh, that losing the child and what happened is not your fault. It's no one's fault. It's not something that you could control because if you could control it, you would have stopped it. Um, but I also know that forgiving yourself and helping you understand what this means and that you are able to truly feel at peace and healed with, with where you're at. And, and that's, that's the goal, right? That's the end goal is to stay strong where you are and, and finding that peace and healing throughout the time that we have on here on earth. So thank you so much for listening and for connecting with me. Um, if you have another topic, want me to talk about something specific, feel free to let me know. Uh, otherwise I'll just keep going off whatever's on my heart, but, um, I hope you have a wonderful month and I'll see you guys next month.